Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2019 BMW X5 xDrive 50i. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you're in the market for a new car, I wrote a killer article on my website about how to buy a new car for the lowest price. I put the link in the description below. The BMW X5 midsize crossover SUV is able to seat seven and features the great driving dynamics that symbolize the brand. The BMW X5 is all new for 2019. So what we're going to do is we're going to obviously build and price this X-Drive 50. It's the top tier uh, X5. I've always loved, I love V8s. And so I'm building this car because I like the V8, right? They do offer the X-Drive 40. If you're looking for a little better gas mileage, but you can see there's a little difference in horsepower here. The X Drive 50 has 456 horsepower. The six cylinder version has a, over 100 less horsepower, right? It's got 335 horsepower, does 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds. The V8 model does 0 to 60 in 4.6 seconds. Uh, let's take a look at some of these color palettes or some of these colors. So they're showing mineral white, then there's the jet black. Exterior color, there's a black sapphire metallic that's going to have that more flake in it, so it's going to sparkle in the sunlight. Um, and then there's a blue metallic. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that first word. Then there's a sunstone metallic. I'm pretty sure this is a replacement for moonstone metallic. I don't know if you remember moonstone metallic, but it's a very pretty color. It's a beautiful color, as a matter of fact. Uh, but this sunstone metallic looks very nice. Then there's the arctic gray metallic. And then finally, alpine white. So there's two color, there's two shades of white. Uh, real quick, we are going to go over this whole overview page, but and then we'll check the pricing and features in the gallery. But let's explore these models real fast. We're not going to really take any time to learn about the 40. We're going to focus our attention on the V8 version X Drive 50i. So let's explore the model a little bit more, and then we'll move on. Okay, so here they're going to give us some more of that those quick specs, you know, the marketing specs I like to call them. Right, the horsepower, the zero to sixty, and how much it cost. Zero to sixty, four point six seconds. The MSRP, the starting price is seventy five thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars. Says any season, any reason, any activity. Choose the versatile six cylinder X Drive forty uh, i or the muscular V eight powered X Drive X five uh, X Drive fifty i and enjoy the confidence to tackle any road trip or your da or daily drive. Here's a nice shot of the vehicle. It's really gorgeous, really, really gorgeous. If you look through the back window, it looks like it's got a rear seat entertainment package because that sure does look like a screen on the back of that seat, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Really nice looking with the M Sport package on it. We're definitely going to option ours with the M Sport package for sure. Inspired by confidence, everything about the all-new BMW X5 is designed for maximum versatility, comfort, and convenience. In other words, with you in mind. So let's find out some of the ways that they have us in mind with their new versatility. So... The first ever factory installed trailer hitch available for the X5 increases towing capacity up to 7,200 pounds. That's probably only in the V8 model, but don't quote me on that. Uh, and they say that's enough to tow an even bigger boatload of fun. Then they're going over, what, a package here. The M Sport package features, ex my favorite package, the M Sport package features exclusive wheels, high gloss roof rails, adaptive M suspension, an M steering wheel, and more. They didn't say anything about an increase in horsepower, though. They didn't say anything about that. And then over here, it says, see further and better. BMW's exceptional adaptive LED lights are standard on the all-new BMW X5. And the optional icon adaptive LED lights with laser light make your lights a sight to behold. That sounds interesting. And then they're going to tell us a little bit about safety. It says it's never optional. The all-new X5 includes the all includes all the popular features of active driving assistant as standard, plus park distance control and a rear view camera. And then over here, they're talking about what the panoramic room, moon roof is now bigger uh, for enthralling views or natural lighting. There's another really nice shot of the X5. Really nice shot of it. Obviously, with the optional M Sport package, I always liked sporty versions of cars. I like that sunstone metallic paint, and I could sure see it with an M Sport. I think it's in our future. Let's move on. 
They say here the all-new X5 is your tour guide, travel companion, and confident leader. Because why? An active life might mean towing jet skis to the beach, packing a tent for a weekend to the mountains, or hitting the highway to a brand new town, right? Just before you paint it red, right? So they say they've got you covered, basically, in the all-new X5. Oh, now they're talking. Now they're talking. Here we go. With the first ever available 22-inch wheels, larger active kidney grill, and aggressive looks, the all-new X5 shown here with the optional M-Sport package makes an impressive statement in any environment. I'll say I agree because it looks impressive. I like it. Look at those veneers. For those of you who don't know, that just means wood. Look at the wood down here. This is really nice. Very nice place to be. Like the color of that leather, kind of reminds me of a cognac. I think, I think Cadillac. They're brown. They call it cognac. And that reminds me of their their interior. It's very very attractive. It says here, this is the luxury you expect from a BMW. And while the standard interior already sets a high bar, amazing options like glass controls, BMW individual leather, and more make the all new BMW X5 a beautiful companion. I forgot all about the individual stuff. Individual is a higher level in different colors of paint, sometimes wood options, um, things like that. Exterior paint and interior color choices for leather. Here's a nice close-up shot of that rear end. Look how the, uh, how the rear exhaust is just beautifully integrated into the rear bumper. Just nice touch. You got a nice little rear diffuser there. Uh, these, op these M Sport wheels are gorgeous. They're wide. The car looks really sporty. It looks very capable to me, I think. Then over here, right below that photo, they say performance boost. Uh, make your world a little bigger with more horsepower than the previous generation and improved suspension with dynamic damper control included as standard. It's ready to travel any terrain. Here they're kind of just going over some stuff we've kind of already done. It says other drivers will admire the large one-piece active kidney grill. I think that means they open and close to control the airflow. Uh, trapezoidal exhaust finishers. We just looked at the exhaust. Uh, the all-new BMW X5 want to really ride above the rest. Add BMW's first ever factory available 22-inch wheels. Yeah, we know that. They are very nice. Let's take an overview of a few features real quick. It says the ultimate driver ecosystem. Look at that TFT LCD display, which is now your instrument cluster. It says welcome to live cockpit professional. Standard dual 12.3-inch screens on the center display. Reminds me of S-Class Mercedes, right? I did a video on the S-Class Mercedes, and they have 12 point dual 12.3-inch 12 uh, screens. It says here this system can integrate with the optional heads-up display for more detail. Uh, center display, digital instrument cluster, provides all the information you need, and you can clearly see that it does. I love how they have the map right there where you need it. Audi was already doing it. Porsche was already doing it, and now BMW is like, they've got to get into the game, and I like that. It's real nice. I think Cadillac does it too. And then my favorite, iDrive, it just keeps getting better and better and better, and I think it's the best in the business, hands down. It's now called iDrive 7.0. Features a customizable layout and improved interactions for a better driving experience than ever before. Uh, I've had a 2006 BMW that had iDrive and then a 2015 BMW that had iDrive. And it's the best. Everybody's copied BMW with iDrive because they started that way back in the early 2000s. I think right around 2004 with the BMW 745 and the 545. They started that. It says here, calm, cool, and protect protected. The all-new X5 includes the incredible BMW driving technology of active driving assistant, active blind spot detection, frontal collision warning with city collision mitigation, lane departure warning, speed limit info, and cross-traffic alert in the rear as standard. And it should be at this price point, but nonetheless, it is nice to see that they're doing it because not everybody does. What's this about? It says your X5 is always looking out. Uh, it can be equipped with Active Driving Assistant Pro system, including active cruise control, active lane keep assist with side collision avoidance, steering and traffic jam assistance, automatic lane change, and more. So basically what they're saying is, you could have uh, some options where you have active safe safety equipment, which to me, whenever they use the word active, 
that seems to mean that it'll intervene. It might turn the steering wheel or use the brakes or, you know, something like that. If you don't do it, it'll do it for you sort of kind of thing. Let's see, night visionary. Light up the road on dark drives with standard adaptive LED lights or create a stunning visual impression with the optional icon adaptive LED headlights with laser light. That's a mouthful, and they don't really explain too much about it. Maybe we'll learn more under, under uh, pricing and features about these details or these options or these features. So it says, right, we already know that about the first ever factory install hitch. We already know about that. What we don't know is that the third row is optional. You don't have to option an X5 with a third row, but you can get it with a third row. Power split tailgate with up to 72.3 cubic feet of cargo space. Uh, says this all new X5 has room for more uh, from backcountry gear to backseat drivers. Ha ha. Here they're going over that panoramic roof again. We already know that it's bigger than it was before. And what's this deal? It says models equipped with comfort access begin unlocking with activating the welcome carpet lighting as you approach. And with optional remote engine start, you just need to get in and go. I like it. Look at the new gear shifter and the new iDrive controller with the neural and the buttons. Everything looks really nice. Look at the stereo speaker in the door and the controls. Very beautiful. Yeah, make it luxe. Redefined, redefined, refined. Convenience, cargo, and class. Enhance the luxury side of your all-new BMW X5 with available glass controls. That's what all this deal is. BMW individual leather upholstery, heated steering wheel, armrests, and rear seats. Heated and cool cup holders, and a Harman Kardon surround sound system. Let's look at the features and the specs, and then we can go to the building price. So what we're going to do kind of here is there's modules here. There's the drive module, which has performance and efficiency, handling, ride, and braking. Then there's appearance, and then technology and protection. So we're going to go through these modules real fast just so we can see what the standard features are. And then we'll go check out the specifications real fast, and then we'll go to the building price. So under performance, it's going to give us information we want to know. 4.4 liter engine, that's a V8, 32 valve. That makes the 456 horsepower. What they don't tell you is it makes 480 pound-feet of torque, I believe. Um, it's got dynamic driving controls, Eco Pro, Comfort Mode, Sport, Sport Plus. I won't read everything, so if you want to make sure you get everything in for all of these modules, <clears throat> just pause the video momentarily so you can read that. Uh, and then trailer hitch pre-wiring. So all of them come pre-wired with the trailer hitch. you got electronic throttle control, brake energy re regeneration, Auto stop start, um, active kidney grills, under ride handling and braking, uh, ensuring a smooth, safe, comfortable drive. You have what? You've got hill descent. You've got the all-wheel drive system, which is standard. You've got the dynamic stability control. So you've got a whole bunch of features like that. Stop st or start, start off assist, brake drying, brake standby, dynamic traction control. Uh, you got a double wishbone front suspension. Power steering, electronic power steering. Under module 2.1 here, it, under appearance, we have exterior, right? We know uh, we've got, what, LED fog lights, LED headlights. Um, what else? Roof spoiler with center brake lights, satin aluminum exterior trim, automatic high beams. You've got some big wheels on this thing, 265.50s, run flat tires all the way around. Um, that's nice. Under interior seating and trim, my most notable thing is the 20-way power multi-contour front seats, including standard 16-way power uh, seat functions, plus additional power adjustment functions for shoulder support, thigh support, plus two-way manual lateral adjustment for comfort headrests, and memory system for driver's seat and front passenger seat. And then, of course, you have the 40, 20, 40 split folding rear seats, uh, floor mats, which is always nice. You've got leather upholstery. Um, it's not the top tier individual leather upholstery, but it does have leather upholstery, but it should for $75,000. Under technology, we have the audio system. The standard audio system is a Harman Kardon surround sound. It's 464 watt, 16 speakers, 7 tweeters, 4 mid-range uh, speakers located in the doors, uh, and then some in the D-pillar, 2 bass speakers located on the front seats. 
You got an HD radio. You got Sirius XM radio. Excuse me. You've got Sirius XM satellite radio with one year all access subscription. Under instrument and controls, instrumentation and controls, Apple CarPlay compatibility. But it comes with a one year trial. BMW is doing like a subscription service for the BM for Apple CarPlay, which I think is weak. I don't like that at all. Um, you got a three spoke uh, leather wrapped steering wheel. You got the BMW connected drive services, dynamic cruise control. It'll tell you the outside temperature. There's that live cockpit professional. We already read about that, uh, but it goes on to say that uh, it's got the iDrive 7.0, voice, touchscreen, iDrive touchpad controller, uh, the modern design of the digital instrument cluster optimizes driver info, navigation, Bluetooth, two USB ports, eight freely programmable bookmarks, 20 gigabytes of multimedia storage right for your music. That's really nice. Speed limit info, rear view camera, tire pressure monitor, rear window defroster. It's pretty loaded. Under comfort and convenience, uh, power adjustable steering column, uh, power tailgate, rear window wiper washer with adjustable wiping interval, panoramic roof, two-piece glass, remote software upgrade capable so this car can update itself without going to the dealer. Kind of makes me sound, kind of sounds like that. It's got power windows with one-touch operation for up-down, for opening and closing. Uh, advanced vehicle and key memory includes most recently used climate control temperature and air distribution settings. So it remembers the settings from different keys that are in it. I remember ours uh, doing that. Let's see. What else? Privacy glass, three-stage heated front seats, locking glove box, dual cup holders, uh, front rear armrest, privacy glass. Then what's down here? The travel and comfort system includes a multifunction bracket to support BMW accessories such as the tablet holders, right? USB-C port, 3-amp charging ability. Under safety and security, we've got the latch system for people with baby seats. That Every, every vehicle has that. Anti-lock brakes, uh, three-point safety belts, rollover sensors. BMW's active protection system, which detects imminent accidents, then prepares by automatically pre-tensioning safety belts, closing windows and moonroof, and activating post-crash braking. Includes fatigue and focus alert feature. You've got adaptive brake lights. I think those are the ones now when people step on the brake lights, they like do a really quick flash and then they stay on. I think that's what adaptive brake lights are now. Uh, programmable LED daytime running lights, impact sensor, anti-theft, BMW Assist, central locking system. Um, lots of stuff. You got all that, all the safety stuff. Remember the city collision, the lane departure warning, the active blind spot, cross traffic alert, the rear cross traffic alert. All of that's in there. That's all standard equipment. Was there anything else I was missing? No. Let's talk about the warranty next, then, real fast, and then we're almost out of this, and we'll be on to the building price. Warranty info is real quick. Four year unlimited mileage, roadside assistance. Four year fifty new vehicle limited warranty. Passenger cars like trucks. BMW Ultimate Care, 12 year unlimited uh, mileage on rust perforation. That's a limited warranty. Let's go back up to the top because I think we want to check something else real fast. We do. We want to check the specifications. Let's look at the specifications. Kind of gives us some quick numbers here. So we can see our horsepower. We can see our torque. 479 torque at 1500 RPMs all the way up to 4750 RPMs. This thing's going to be real sporty. Eight speed automatic transmission. We don't really need to look over the gear ratios. It's the 4.4 liter twin turbo or twin power turbo V8. So I don't know if it's got one turbo or two turbos. It doesn't say twin turbo. It says twin power. Here's some performance numbers. Zero to 60 we know. The top speed is 130, but maybe 155 miles an hour, probably if you get the M Sport package. Your toy capacity is 6,600 pounds. That's standard, but probably 7,200 pounds if you get the V8. Uh, your fuel consumption is 19 miles uh, combined. Automatic is 17 city, 22 highway. Uh, fuel tank capacity is almost 22 gallons. It's a big fuel tank. Run flat, all season tires are standard. It's got 19 by 8.5 front and rear tires, 265.50 front and rear. So they can be rotated. I bet you if you get the M Sport, if it gets bigger wheels or you get the 22 inch package, they might not all be rotated. It might be a staggered setup where the wheels are bigger. On the back. Here's some dimensions. 
It's 194 inches long. It's 78.9 inches wide. It's 69 inches tall. Its curb weight is 5,100, just over, just under 5,200 pounds. Uh, payload, 870 pounds, 871 pounds. Headroom, what do we got? 40.8 inches. Leg room in the front, 39.8. Leg room in the back, 37.4. Shoulder room in the front, a very generous 60 inches. Shoulder room in the rear, also a very generous 58.1 inches. I mean, a Mercedes is 59. An S -class, a big S-Class Mercedes is 59, so this is roomy in there. Cargo capacity. With all the seats up, 33.9. With all the seats down, 72.3 cubic feet. All right, we've gone through all that. Let's do the build your own. Let's build it. How do we want ours built out? You should already know that we're going to go with the M-Sport design package. So it puts it at $79,550. It says maximize your vehicle's athletic pedigree with aggressive features inspired by BMW M cars. This bold look projects a muscular aesthetic that feels at home on any road. Let's apply the M Sport design. So next they have, they do a tiers now. So if you continue without adding a tier, now you've got a stripped down base model. We're not doing that. The premium tier features heads up display, wireless charging, Wi-Fi hotspot, gesture control, enhanced USB and Bluetooth. That would make it $80,900. You could up the ante to the executive tier, which gives you all of that, plus remote engine start, soft close automatic doors, heated and cool cup holders, rear manual side window shades, icon adaptive LED headlights with laser light. That's $82,950. Now, you're already at $79,550. Why not just throw a couple more grand at it and start getting what you want? So I want the executive tier. We're going to choose that. Now, it's going to spit us to the colors. I already know what color I want. Do they have in individual colors, though? No, they don't have individual colors, which is fine. But I already know that I want this sunstone metallic because it is just gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Sunstone metallic. Let's move on to wheels. You already know what I'm going to do. Let's take a look. at. Here's the 20-inch wheels, M-Star spoke. Bicolor wheels. All the wheels are gorgeous. Look, they messed up here. The E is in between a space. At any rate, run flat tires, standard wheel, very attractive. All right, now what's this one? This one's a 21-inch Y-spoke wheel, also very attractive. But that's not going to do for me. I need the 22-inch M double-spoke bicolor wheel style 742M with performance non-run flat tires. So now you, you're going to have to need a spare tire, but I don't care. I want the 22-inch wheel. It looks fantastic with this sunstone metallic. Let's choose our upholstery next. And they've got some very nice colors. Let's take a look at this. This, uh, I don't even know what it's called. Tartufu Extended Merino Leather. It is beautiful. Now, what's this color here? That is the coffee. Uh, it's a little bit too dark brown for me. It does look nice. This is the cognac, right? You remember I said the cognac, and then what's this one? This is the coffee extended leather. The browns are looking right. But you know what? The black leather, and then is this with the quilt? Yeah, with the black extended merino. I know I can't go wrong with the black. I could get the brown. Although the brown looks really nice. The brown looks really, 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 really nice. But I might have a regret later on about the brown. I know I can get the black, and, and I'll always think, okay, I can at least always be happy with that. But I could have buyer's remorse with the brown. So we're going to do the black extended merino leather. It's a $1,000 upgrade, and it's worth it. Now let's move on to trims. That's going to be the wood stuff. Okay, let me first say that none of these are attractive. They're all ugly. But let's take a look at each one. Nope. Mm. No. No. Uh, maybe. That's the brown metallic ash. I like that. I know I won't like this, whatever this is. What is this? The aluminum dark mesh? No. Um, let's do this. Let's do this brown metallic ash. And you know what? For giggles, I need to go back and look at that upholstery because maybe I want to do a brown. Hold on. So now we can see the wood that we have. Let's let's throw um Let's throw this leather at it real fast. Let's see what that looks like versus this leather. 
Okay, it's lighter. I want to do, let's do this Tartufu extended merino leather. I think that looks attractive. I like that, and I like it against the wood. Let's go back to trims really fast, and now we can see just a little bit better shot of that. I think that looks attractive. I want to have the contrast. The sunstone metallic's nice. It looks good. Let's move on to packages. Okay, so we've got a few packages here. Driver assist, uh, dynamic handling, luxury seating, parking assist. So the driving assist pack plus package, uh, what does this give us? Emergency stop assist, uh, steering and traffic jam assistant, reducer stress in traffic situations, uh, evasion assistant. You know what? I kind of want it loaded. Driving assistance plus active. Innovative camera radar-based driver assistance systems that provide partially automated support will always be at your side to deliver peace of mind. That's good enough for me. $1,700. Now, to do that, oh, no, 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 no. We are not removing the Sunstone Metallic. I guess we're not getting that package today. The Dynamic Handling Package, a unique combination of options which results in a handling firmness and superior comfort on bumpy road surfaces. Yeah, 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 yeah. We want all that. The big imp sport brakes, the differential, and the active, integral active steering, right? We want all of the goodness. That's thirty-six fifty, and in order to make this happen, we'll have to remove the adaptive M suspension. Well, I guess I don't want to do that either. Nope, I don't want to remove the M suspension. I guess we'll have to put some things together a la carte. What's the luxury seating? So far, we're over two. Front ventilated seats, front massaging seats. See, I don't even care about that. But the ventilated seat thing, I might care about. Um, what does it do? Gently move air through the micro perforated leather, helping you keep comfortable all your. Yeah, I probably do want that that's twelve hundred dollars and it's not making me remove anything and then the parking assist what does this do surround view camera parking assist plus we want that it's just seven hundred dollars let's go over to options because we're going to have to nickel and dime some stuff here now what do we have they're giving us telling us what we have so far and i do want those in brakes that was the one thing that i wanted i wanted those big imp calipers um what else leather dashboard i want the leather dashboard Glass controls. We know what those glass controls look like. They were very beautiful. We'll do the glass controls. Front and rear heated seats. Yes. Now, what do we have to do? Heated front armrest. This will add that to your vehicle. Yep, I wanted those anyway. So go ahead and add them. And then I think we've kind of gone through all of everything. Trailer hitch. I don't want a trailer hitch. I'm not towing anything with my basically $100,000 SUV. I'm not towing anything. Uh, and I also want the night vision with pedestrian detection. I want that as well. And then I, I always skip over uh, the vehicle programs with the car care, but I will take, I'll buy into the little valve stems. Which ones do I want? I'll take the, the M ones, please. Thank you. I think we're done. Let's go to summary. Hang on. Look how beautiful that is. Sunstone metallic, cognac leather, the 22-inch wheels, the big M Sport calipers, and we got it as low as we wanted it without giving up what we didn't want to give up. So fair is fair. It's $95,000 all in. There's our color. There's our wheels, our upholstery and trim. There's all the details. What I'm going to do, is it possible? Let me double check. Yes, it is. I'm going to print and save this build summary. So if you like the way I built and spec this 2019 BMW X5 xDrive 50i, I'm going to put a link to the download in the description below, right along with that link to my article about how to probably try to buy this cheaper than $95,000. I'll put a link to my, just to my article on my website. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. We're all done. If you've made it to the end, you're awesome. You're a rock star. Thank you. I appreciate that. I would also appreciate it, if you're not already, for you to become a subscriber. So please share and subscribe to my channel. Promise to be turning out some really great new content in the very near future, so stay tuned, and have a wonderful day.